What secret items, you may ask? Maybe just things I've been using without your knowledge? Two palettes. 01 Kaki Melody, a contour and a highlight. The shades are on the more subtle side. The contour shade can lean more red. The highlight, although it contains micro glitter, it is also more on the toned down side. Palette 2, most of pink. Looks really dark in here. Is this even a blush, you might think? Fret not, it is. <laughs> Unlike its name, most of pink, it is a more light, peachy beige, lively and cute vibes. Highlight in here is also much brighter, has more of that silver pigment, so it gives you a much more blinding glow. S01, the a lot of palette I used it to create this look. Main shades in this look I used these two. It was only until today when I swatched the entire palette that I realized that the two shades that I used previously were the least performing ones. S02, the more everyday palette. I have it on my eyes today. I have this, 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 this on. Only one color shifting shade, this white shadow. Extremely average shadows. They are patchy and they can come off a little less pigmented than I would like. The only redeeming factor in this palette might just be this color shifting shade. This palette is eh, they are held together by a magnetic plate at the bottom so you can remove these shadows individually. Concealers in shades P01 and S1.5. A formula that is a little bit thicker and can be a little bit drying. Coverage I would say however not too bad because <laughs> probably because of how thick it is. Everbad Watery Nourishing Foundation. I love this stuff. Oh, shade P01. This one I have almost finished using. <laughs> They offer two types of foundation, one for dry skin and the other for oily skin. The one I have here is the one for dry skin. Doesn't give a matte finish, neither does it give a glowy finish. It gives a finish of somewhere in the middle. Soft and supple, natural finish. Two single eyeshadows from Dramo. PK00, a soft baby pink. Other than using it as an eyeshadow, I use it as a blush sometimes. Can also use it as a matte under eye highlight. WT00, the white shade. Oh, this one I live for. Great stuff. You just need a little bit for you to brighten this area and it is A star pigment. This white shows up immediately. You don't even need to layer it. I've had these for a really long time. I brought it to Vietnam earlier this year as well. I don't know why I haven't but I just didn't share it with you on the videos but it's here now. Grace Bubby Eyebrow Pencil and Brow Mascara Duo. I chose the darkest colour for the eyebrow pencil but the brow mascara is of a really light colour. The way I do my brows, I would draw the brow hairs with the brow pencil and then use the brow mascara on maybe like the first half of the brow. But for this one, <laughs> the brow pencil is so dark and the brow mascara is so light. Uh, yeah, at first I thought like, okay sure, let's try out a new look. Yeah, yeah. Since they made it, I think they probably had some kind of reason for using a dark pencil and a light mascara. So I did it. I just brushed mascara on the first half of my brows. So I thought, eh, okay, in real life it looked okay, not too bad. So I actually had that look for quite some time. It was only until later when I wore it in a video and when I looked back at the video, oh my god, it was so bad. <laughs> First half of my brows were light and the second half were dark. It was weird. Okay, is it a look? Maybe not. <laughs> That's not me, by the way. <laughs> Blush palettes from CC shade 01 and shade 02. 01 has more of a toned down muted peachy beige color story. 2 has a brighter, livelier purple pink color story. I have this one on. This one here and this one here but uh, it's a very slight difference. I mixed all the shades on this side. It has a hint of orange for whatever reason. Is it my eye or this? This I have not tried though. Powder blush from Original Artist. It it is the first time I'm hearing of this brand too. I was on Xiao Hongshu browsing and I saw this blush. I was like, wow, this is so pretty. I need to get it. Shade 4, Wan Chiu Hai Tang. Soft and light baby pink. Gives you the effect of a brightening blush but on the more subtle side. Almost like a very natural perk of colour from your cheeks. It is less pigmented so it might take a few layers of this for the colour to show. Blush Duo I bought off Pint Wot Wot. No idea what this shade is but extremely cute and old school retro packaging. Florette recently collaborated with Estebani. I did not get the all in but I did get one of these predetermined sets. Eyeshadow palette in shade 01. It has a pink and brown colour story. Very everyday. Swatches look a little bit promising this time, huh? <laughs> this pink is more of a silver sheen. This seemingly brown 
brown has a little bit of pink tones in it this is a cool tone brown and a dark brown eyeliner uh, ah, this is not my first choice of shade this is a brown liner I really wanted the pink liner they have in this collection but I have yet to get my hands on it double sided the eyeliner on one end little eyeliner brush on the other helps you draw that wing better try it out by putting it to the ultimate test used this before I did my whole face on my bare skin on my bare lids I wanted to see if this would glide on or it would tuck on thankfully it glide on shade 01 an everyday pretty soft orange pink the lip shade I have on in this entire video soft nice and lovely everyday vibes the blush stick shade 02 the cute soft pink the first time I used it I drew three strokes on my cheeks and I blended it out with a puff but I realized that Oh, as I blended, the color kind of disappeared. What is this? It was only until later that I realized that the best way to use this is to draw the color on, blend on the edges. If the middle is still too pigmented, then you blend the middle to blend everything together. That way, there will be color on your cheeks. Thank you for watching as usual and I will see you in the next one. Bye!